Hello friends, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to give you the programming assignment answers for the joy of computing using Python. So let's see the first program question. So given an integer as input, write a program to print that integer. So they are they have already taken num num as variable. So I am using that. So we have to print that integer. Here the integer is num num. So I am going to print that. Simple one line print of num so wait i will zoom this for you so the program is just one line print of num so let's see the uh, compilation so i'm going to compile this so if you see that the compilation is showing pass but here if you see it is passed after ignoring presentation error if you see here so here expected output 19 we got 19 and new line so for that it got a presentation error but the if you can stop here and uh, submit no problem it will be passed because just it is just a presentation error so no problem but if you want to uh, get exact, exact output for your satisfaction so we can include that there's a small keyword that is called end so let's see here I will zoom this again so here just add num wait uh, yeah so if you see here we can add uh, a keyword uh, after variable num comma n equal to double quotations just uh, within the double quotation no need to enter anything just uh, n equal to double quotations close so let's see what happens now <clears throat> I'm going to compile this so if you see that now there is no presentation error it is exactly passed any any method you can follow if you want exact uh, without any error exact output if you want then try this we are going to use this in the next programs also so remember print of num comma end equal to double quotation end and uh, start and close here the we use end keyword to remove the new line character that means uh, forward slash n so to remove that we use end keyword so let's go to the next question before that uh, after compiling submit the question uh, each program here we, we will get hidden test cases so four hidden private test cases are also passed so let's go to second question yeah if you see that they have already taken two integers num1 and num2 so they are asking that uh, given two integers as an input write a program to print the sum of those two integers so first integer is num1 and second integer is num2 so how to uh, output the sum so again we can use print print of we have to get the sum so num1 plus num2 I mean number one uh, first variable uh, value plus second variable value so this is the single single line code for this so let's see what happens So public test cases are passed but again same problem passed after ignoring presentation error. So in the previous program I have told already that to remove uh, this uh, I mean new line character use end, end keyword. So let's see what exactly it means. So n equal to double quotation start and double quotation open. I mean open and close 
so let's see now so if you see that here public test case passed and there is no slash n i mean there is no presentation error just passed any you can follow let's see after submitting the hidden test cases are also passed or not don't forget to click submit button every time first you should compile and next you should submit so let's see private test cases here all these test cases are also passed so let's move on to final question that is third one so here they are saying that uh, you have to display all the numbers from 0 till x so if you give an input x then it should print from 0 to 0 1 2 and so on x so let's uh, ignore this i will again uh, tell from starting okay for uh, for this type of uh, questions we generally use for for loop with range as a function so i am zooming this so just concentrate uh, here for i i am taking i as variable for i in range if you take any value uh, for suppose uh, if you take uh, 5 then it will print from 0 to just uh, just before 5 that means 4 0 to 4 if you take 6 it will print from 0 to 5 like that so if you print from uh, they are saying that uh, 0 to x if you give the num, num value then it should print from uh, 0 to num but it is not possible uh, when you give it in the range so if you take uh, a extra value of plus 1 I mean if you want uh, if you give uh, value 5 if, if the output should come from 0 to 5 then you should give 6 as the value one extra uh, value you should give so that it will be subtracted minus 1 and again you will get the same value so for i in range num plus 1 so it will print from 0 to num that will be matching so if for i in range num plus 1 print i value So let's see what happens. I am going to compile this. So if you see that the status is passed, but they give uh, it happened uh, ignoring after ignoring presentation error. Presentation error is not a big problem because if you get status passed, it will be enough. But if you want uh, exactly passed without any uh, these type of presentation errors. Then I will show you the next other method. So here see uh, we got the exact values but in the last value for 5 it got a uh, 5 new line for 2 we got 2 new lines. So but only for the last character new line should not be there. Right. So for this if you observe here once again I will show this in zoom. So if you observe this only for the last letter we should remove the new line so uh, here we give in the range remove that plus 1 so it will print from 0 to num minus 1 so if you give 5 it will print from 0 to 4 only but we should also get the last value so for that I am getting out of the loop and I am going to print that value uh, last value directly so print off Uh, num so if you give 5 final value will be 5 print num and also adding extra uh, argument that is n n keyword n equal to starting and closing double quotation so if you like write like this then you will not get uh, the presentation error also because here the code 
fry in the range num, it will print from 0 to num minus 1. So if you give 5, it will print from 0 to 4. So for that fifth value, we are separately printing print of 5 without any new line. So we will get 0 to 5 automatically. So let's see what happens after compilation. So I am going to click this compile and run button. So if you see that here the status is exactly passed without any presentation error. So final value 5 we also got 5. For 2 we got exactly 2 without new line characters. So I am going to submit this now to check whether private test cases passed or not. So if you see that the private test cases are also completely passed. So friends, these are the programming solutions for this assignment of joy, uh, the joy of computing using Python course week 2 assignment. So for uh, further videos regarding different type of courses including the Python course and for next weekly courses, please subscribe our channel. Keep supporting us like this. If you feel the video helpful, please like the video, share to this your friends. If you have any doubts, please uh, try to ask in the comment section. I will try to give uh, reply to this valid queries. So until then, goodbye. Thank you.